Welcome back to Saving Miller. Let's see how the chickens like the new coop today. Well, there we got the chicks up on the roost. We can get a focus. There we go. You can just see them there. The ducks, of course, are on the bottom. You know, seem like they're doing fine. So now we've got to move this. Last night we put the chickens in the coop here and the ducks and so this is the next morning I checked on them already and now I'm getting ready to move it to a new spot just want to give them a chance to have fresh seeds and grass and bugs and things so now I have to gather up this poultry fence I got this fence from Premier One Fencing as well as some of the other products that I used and it's a hundred feet long, so it's a good size for, you know, about a dozen birds like we have. But it is not easy to move. So I'm not totally impressed with it, but I also think it's kind of the only realistic option that we have right now. And it does work well for putting them in a customized spot where they I can really focus their... Um, focus their nutrients and they can clean things up for me so I don't move them every day here comes the coop it rolls along pretty nicely really works quite well. So the dog is very interested in this thing. She's she's always been curious about the chickens, I think more as a food thing than as a, you know, curiosity thing. The coop is heavy enough that if you get in a hole like I just did there, it is a little bit challenging to move, so it would be nice for uh, to have two people when moving over rough terrain, but it is possible to do it with just one person, too. So I make a loop with the fencing all the way around the chicken coop because it doesn't have any sides on it um, at the bottom. So I just make a circle like this. And this is what I intend to do in the pasture later on once I move them out there. So here they are. And... They should be ready to check out their new surroundings soon. The chickens are very curious. They're out there already. They're looking around, trying to find something to peck. The ducks are still hiding in the back. They're a lot more timid. Not quite as brave as the chickens. So now I'll get the door opened up. Make sure they can come out. And I may encourage them a little bit since this is the first time that they are exiting the coop. But they should figure this out pretty soon themselves. So this was not something I really designed for, but I am able to reach the two inside cups by opening the little door. So I'm pretty lucky that that's okay. Um, makes it easy to reach inside there and clean those up a little bit. So now they're fully fenced in, I gotta get the charger on the fence so that it's hot. And I'll encourage them to come out and drop a little feed down here. So they'll come out and scratch eat the little weeds that are sprouted. It's pretty peaceful this morning, it's all overcast. Birds are quiet, but they're also curious, trying to make sure things are safe. So, as of right now, we have three hens, we have five roosters, and they're the frisky ones. The hens are the darker ones there. And we have the three older ducks, they are six months old now, and we have the little ones. So now it's late in the afternoon, we're going out to check on them. Come on. 
Many farmers really take an ownership. She considers the birds to be hers. Hey, well, I'm afraid we have bad news. Let's see, see if we can figure out what happened. One of our poor chickens has died. So I came out this morning and she was sitting up on the roost. And she wouldn't move. I see no sign of damage. That is unfortunate. She's one of the hens, too. So there's either some... Two hens left. Yeah. So I kind of wonder if maybe it was the hawk. Maybe the hawk heard it inside and she just was fine for a few days. But what do you mean the hawk? The hawk, the hawk got one of the hens. But it got away when I came running over. So maybe it's this one, but... Yeah, but one of the legs was kind of like she was walking funny, but then I watched. I couldn't even figure out which one it was later. It seemed like she fully recovered. So it's either something she ate or it was the hawk. Its eyes are closed because it died. Yeah, we can't really see what happened at all. So all, seven of them were roosted up there this morning, on and one tiny, lone one was down here. On this tiny shelf? Yeah, they all like to be together. It's probably the warmest spot. Okay, so let's load them up so we can move them. go up the ramp. It was too slippery for them. They clearly didn't like it. So now the mini farmer is showing you how our um, little slats are helping them out and they can actually walk up the ramp much better than they used to. These little slats really helped them out so they're not not concerned about it anymore. Okay let's see if we can get the... hopefully it'll work. Okay everyone it's time to go to bed. You too. All of you. In the coop. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Sweetie, stay back. Here. Go over there along the fence. Over there. Back up a little bit. Yeah, the chicks are going in. Come on, you're jamming up the ramp. Go in. Okay, you go stand over there. There you go. Come on, you silly ducks. Go go over further. There you go, up the ramp. Yeah, time to go to bed. Come on, slow, slow down. Come on, you can do it. There you go. I even made it better for you. Silly ducks. Okay, now we can move them. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Okay.
Okay. Now we can put the fence up. Mini farmer, you can help us get the fence. The netting. Wow, Mr. Farmer's fast. Found a mountain. This tall grass. Yep. Lots of seeds and bugs here. and especially difficult because we don't actually know what happened. But we have the other birds, and they're happy and healthy. So till next week, Saving Miller out.